Hey guys, welcome back. We are back with some more Paladin Strike. In this video, I want to talk about the new rune system. Now with the update yesterday, they brought out the new rune system to the live servers. And this is what it looks like. Now, not to be over confused, the way it changed is each individual champion now has their own set of runes. Now, some are still in the works are not perfect. Like Grox, for instance, uh, they have some adjustments to make on them. But I want to talk about how to get runes and what you're going to be doing daily to get them. So like I said in the last video, the store, you're going to be visiting this quite often. Every day, you'll be able to come in here and buy something different with gold or whatnot. And we're going to go over exactly what we need to do. Now, first starting out, just to get some of these, uh, I'm going to pick up this. This is the starter pack. It has a bunch of random runes in it and some other things as well. I'm only going to get this just for the fact of it has a lot of them in it. Now, of course, daily, don't forget to get over here and get your free golden box. And you can spend this multiple times a day. So we got some tickets. Okay. Not bad. And don't forget, you do get your free champions as well. But let's get back into this rune system. All right, we already have Ash. We're going to get some tickets for her. All right, so rune chest. These are where your runes are going to come from. And don't forget, they, there are daily ones. So for instance, there's a damage rune chest today for gold. You can buy five of these. You're going to want to pick these up. So every day, make sure you do this. Uh, you have a limit on your basic runes for every day as well. So make sure you get the max of these daily. That's 4,000 gold for those. You're going to get random ones. Now, let me go ahead. We're going to buy the rest of these. So we've spent 8,000 gold so far, and that's the limit for these. So every other day it changes, or every day it actually changes. So other than this, for getting runes, um, the only other way to get them is through the golden box, which you can roll this. You can roll it again, and your only chance is hoping it lands on it, but we did get a random one. You can get them from there as well. Um, Getting into the consumable part, they're in here as well. You can get these daily. So you're going to be spending upwards of, let's see, we spent 6,000 on the five, 2,000 on the other. That's eight, 10, 12, 14,000 gold right there just for those. All right. And of course, that's not counting the starter pack that I did get. And you can only get that one time. So let's get into the rune page and it's going to show you on each character. If you have extra runes that you need to upgrade, to add in, they're going to be here. Now you can upgrade this once. And this is my first time going through this as well. So as you can see to upgrade this again, we don't have the materials to upgrade this. So it's not going to allow us to do it. We're going to have to go here. We have that. Now this is all the materials I had for Fernando. Victor, I've already done one. We got one, I believe, yesterday. So it's going to level it up. So going on, these are going to be different. Um, I've heard there are going to be some differences in the third, the blue rune. Each uh, to kind of individualize or make champions kind of unique in certain ways. So you see that had three of them for that. So that upgraded my movement speed for Bomb King. Now this is going to be, like I said, it's going to be per champion. I've got three more that's going to do this. And we're going to go through Cassie. So you're going to go through and you're going to have to do this on each champion. Each champion has its own set of runes. And you're going to have to level these guys up. Now, once you get done, you're going to basically be able to play with your upgraded champion with these runes. Now, the amount of stats is going to be affected as well. Do not forget that I'll, I talked about it yesterday. And I mentioned it quite a lot about the free champions. You're going to want to grab those free champions. And look at here. We have our first one that we upgraded to the uh, the middle shield. So that's one. And to upgrade this, 120. We don't have enough materials, I believe, to upgrade that. So we'll get into how to upgrade these. They go up to max level 20. Uh, but currently in the live system, everything is going to be capped around level 5. Uh, that's what they said they're going to do just to make sure people don't run off and get ahead of everybody which that's perfectly fine with me but back on the subject of the uh skins so your skins are going to enhance these 
your attributes and it's going to enhance the amount of gold that you get so that's going to be really huge in being able to put out more damage have more health or on some of these champions critical ch uh, chance uh there's going to be different recovery for terminus depending on your role you're going to have different ones and like you see i didn't get some for some of these champions so i don't have any runes to upgrade for some of these guys that's completely fine they'll be out through the weeks and there's going to be other things added in as well later on down the road which are talents uh talents are going to basically be what your legendary runes used to be and these your talents that used to be in game they're called augments now so if that makes sense to you now it says we have these here now these are the cores the random ones that i got when you get a random core you have to go into your items to open it so make sure you check your items every day if you do get random ones they should be lit up if you haven't been to it before but all you have to do is equip it and it'll be able to unlock all of these that we have now we're going to get some pretty cool for some of the ones we didn't have before that's nice and we're gonna have to of course insist to the devs to be able to open multiples of these at one time so that's definitely something we'll put in for feedback for these guys to be able to do as this would get really tiring if you got these every day got quite a bit of them and had to go through here and individually unlock all of these so we got 42 more to go to unlock but this is going to add a huge boost to your character. Uh, these are the runes. That's what they're designed for. And each specific character, like I said, it has its own individual build that it's specifically going to be into per level. Now, at higher levels, I'm not sure if stats are going to go into different categories. That's something they haven't discussed or probably been asked about. For instance, are the red runes always going to be considered damage? Are the blue runes are always going to be considered for the third slot? Uh, and the green runes, is it always going to be considered for health? Um, that's the question at higher levels. Is that going to add on to maybe health regeneration or something different like that? They could possibly do that. I'm not sure if they are wanting to do something that extensive as far as building extra into these runes. But my goodness, we have opened like 63 of these or more. And we're just about done. And then once you get these done, of course, just like we did earlier, just go back to your rune page for your champion. It'll highlight them and you'll just be able to add them back into it. Now, the multi-core runes, I'm not exactly sure right now what those are for. I have 10 of those. It didn't give me the option to add those to anything you still see it says i have 10 materials of those on but it hasn't required me to be able to upgrade now that may be what a uh, level increase for instance the middle rune uh, i'm not i can't remember what exactly one was it bomb king no it wasn't but when we filled all of them up that could be what the multicolored runes are for let's get this last one here and ying now speaking of ying ying should be out in the next update i know you guys have been wondering where she's at um from what i hear ying maldamba and a couple more are going to be added in the next update that they do so stay tuned for that definitely going to be awesome ying probably a fan favorite of a lot of you guys i'm curious just as well what they did with her kit let's go ahead and get these guys leveled up I was hoping we would actually get enough to possibly get up to a two, but it doesn't look like we are going to be able to on any of these. Let's check out Drogos. Okay, here we go. This is the one I was talking about. So this might, no, it doesn't. Okay, so that's a two. It may wait until you get to the center one to level up to two. So we'd have to upgrade it one, two, three, four. And on the fifth time again, it would upgrade to level two in the center. And that is possibly what is going to take the multiple color rune. Uh, it's still just a guess, guys, as I still don't know. But that is definitely something we will cover once we get to that. Uh, a few more days, we, right. we hopefully should have enough to be able to get up. And that right there was a subscribe notification. Thank you, whoever that was that just subscribed. Let's go ahead and finish off these rune upgrades. 
and like i said if you guys have any questions for this it's pretty simple it's really self-explanatory and it's a lot more it's a lot easier for you guys to understand than the old rune system which was you had to select pick and choose your entire build very similar to what kind of an old older MOBA style game would be that are out now but I'm glad they went with this different route to give you set specific things that way people know exactly what they need to put things into and like I said don't forget of course this this page right here check these rune chests you gotta want to pick these guys up every day now a mega rune chest I'm not sure what these guys entail but we're gonna go ahead and open this bad boy up we got some more universals and a couple of the others so you get quite a few runes out of those you can buy those once a week and that adds just a few more runes to your list to make your champions just a little bit more powerful now always remember guys like I said though if you play these champions make sure you play one specific for quite a while if you would like to get a skin for it i'm not sure how many wins or how many times you play but i'm assuming it's somewhere up around 100 times you can get a free skin and that's going to enhance the power of these runes as well so do not forget that if you guys have any questions like i said feel free to leave them in the comment section below but that's probably going to be it for this video guys we're going to wrap it up here this is the new runes for paladin strike and I kind of like it. It's real simple, really easy to get into, real easy to manage and finish off. Uh, once we get these able to upgrade it uh, to where I can show you guys what it's going to cost or what it's going to take to level something like this up, uh, we'll definitely cover this. I'm not sure if we'll do it in an entire video itself, but we will talk about it. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Check the description for links if you have any other questions on how to get the game. They're all down there. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soul Bash. You guys have a nice day.